When carrying out measurements or performing calculations in chemistry, we often encounter very, very large numbers or quantities, or very, very small numbers or quantities. The use of scientific notation is a useful way to help us deal with these very, very large numbers or very, very small numbers. So chemistry often involves counting or measuring very large or very small quantities. For example, a teaspoon of water contains 167 billion trillion molecules. At the other end of the scale, the mass of a uranium atom, which is the most massive of the naturally occurring atoms, is this many kilograms, an incredibly small number. The number of zeros in these two quantities is simply too great for us to be able to deal with in any practical way, and there are too many zeros to get any real sense of the size of the quantity, whether it be large or small. So what we need is a system, a quantitative method, that allows us to deal with such large quantities or such small quantities. Scientific notation is a system of expressing measured or counted quantities based on powers of 10, and it's probably best shown via example. This number here, 3.264 by 10 to the 5, is an example of a number expressed in scientific notation. The 3.264 is called the coefficient of the number, and the 10 to the 5 is the exponential part of the number. More specifically, the 10 is the base of the exponential, and the 5 is called the exponent. The exponential 10 to the 5 actually means 10 multiplied by itself 5 times. So 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, corresponding to the exponent 5. So 3.264 by 10 to the 5 actually means 3.264 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. And if we plug those numbers into our calculator, we get the number 326,000. 400, and that number is said to be expressed in decimal form as opposed to scientific notation. If we look at that number in decimal form, 326,400, how do we arrive at it from the scientific notation form of the number? What we actually do is identify where the decimal place is in the coefficient, and it's as if that decimal place has been moved five places to the right corresponding to the exponent of positive 5. In scientific notation, the coefficient has only one number placed to the left of the decimal place, and that number is never zero. So for example, a number that takes the form 0 0.38 by 10 to the 7 would be better expressed as 3.8 by 10 to the 6. You can see we've changed the coefficient from 0.38 to 3.8. We multiplied it by 10. And so we've had to decrease the exponential part of it by a factor of 10 as well. We've taken it from 10 to the 7 to 10 to the 6. Conversely, a number like 38 by 10 to the 5, again, is best expressed as 3.8 by 10 to the 6. The coefficient has only one number to the left of the decimal place, and it's not 0. So 3.8 more correctly represents that coefficient. Again, you can see that we've decreased the coefficient, in this case by a factor of 10, and so we've had to increase the exponential part by a factor of 10. It's worth noting that all these numbers above are equal to the number 3,800,000 when written in decimal form. In the next video, we will see how to construct numbers in scientific notation from numbers in decimal form, and vice versa. And we will see how positive exponents represent quantities greater than 1, while ne negative exponents represent quantities of less than 1, but still greater than 0.